So, a lot has actually happened since the last stream. I actually managed to platinum this game in the meantime, uh, in between streams, which is uh, super duper hype, which is really awesome. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Today we are actually going to continue our normal playthrough of Hollow Knight. And by that, I mean we are going to explore more of our map, and I had looked up a handful of things. We're going to go get some power-ups, some new abilities, we're going to proceed in the story for sure. That's the first thing we're actually going to go do. And we're going to get some more power-ups and get a, get a couple upgrades, but not like a ton, but a handful. So, as you know, really the big thing about last, the big thing about last year and that happened is really we upgrade our nail again. And we've got the Monarch Wings to unlock the Double Jump, and those are really the two big things we did. We bought a couple more pins. We're not using too many of them. We're using Quick Slash, which is pretty huge, so that also means quite a bit to just have a little bit less range, but just faster attack speed, which uh, means a lot. So that's kind of how our combat is morphing this time, and that's what we're going to be uh, focusing on. So without further ado, let's get right into this. The first thing we are... Well, I lied. Uh, we're actually going to dump the Quick Slash because I actually rather prefer longer range. So the first thing we're going to go do is we're actually, with all of our Geo, we're going to head straight back into... Uh... Actually, we're going to head straight to Kingdom's Edge. So with our current map at the moment, we need to head all the way to Kingdom's Edge because we're going to proceed with the story first. That's the first thing we're actually going to tackle today is just proceeding more with the story because that's huge because to really do a lot of the other stuff I would like to do we need another power up at least to make things a little bit easier for us that is what we're going to do first oh I'm not utilizing this sick double jump that we got last stream so yeah we're gonna head to Kingdom's Edge and then we're gonna start focusing on upgrading our powers quite a bit and by doing that we're going to be heading to we're gonna be buying the elegant key from slice shop first things first because that's really important to one thing we're gonna be doing we're going to be heading back to everyone's favorite area, or my favorite area, the Crystal Peak, because, you know, we loved it so much the first time. And then we're actually going to be heading to back to City of Tears, but more specifically in the Soul Sanctum, because we're looking for something specific while we're there. Alright, so, with already taking a handful of damage, let's do this and let's go. So... We have quite the road much travel. We're still not going to fight this guy because, well, we could probably do some good damage to him. So we've actually learned a better way of fighting him now is just doing this. Yeah, look at that. That was a way more flaws of a fight. So we're actually going to fight them now on our way uh, over here and through here. Uh, hello, viewer. Welcome to Hollow Knight. The game where magic happens. Man, we fought that first guy so, so flawlessly. Yeah, go away. <laughs> Man, we just fought the first guy very flawlessly, and then we just we 100% whiffed at fighting that guy. That was sad. So, uh, as I had mentioned, we're heading to Kingdom's Edge to grab our next story item. Well, st story, stuff story related. And then we're going to start collecting more power-ups and abilities that we're that we're gonna want for general travels for you know near end game that we're heading towards. All right, good, good. Get them sick dodges out of our way. So, back to Kingdom's Edge, and now we can actually just double jump and start hitting this dude. Get some soul back, heal ourselves. So we need to immediately head. We can actually just kind of head a little bit up and primarily over. And now Kingdom's Edge that we were in last time is going to be far easier to traverse through having these power-ups and abilities a hundred percent. A hundred. Okay, so this way we can't go. Um, we need to head to the more upper one. And then fall down. Right? Uh, crud. Hey, look at this real quick. So I need to head... Yeah, it's got to head up, but I didn't see another platform for us to jump to. Unless I have to head... Oh, I probably gotta head down down and over. That's probably actually the way we were supposed to go. That's fine. We'll do that. I'm okay with that. 
We got a double jump, so traversing through this area is going to be way easier. And we're, this is going to give us more geo. We can already afford the elegant key that's in size shop for us, so we don't really need to worry about having enough money. Because we already actually have enough. That guy still takes three nail shots. And yeah, our more powerful nail is doing a lot of work for us already and just beefing up our raw power. Killing enemies a lot faster, dealing with them more easily. Look at that. All these swag shots right now of not taking damage and just popping through enemies. So now that we're here, now we can actually wall jump upwards and now go this way. Look at that. I mean, that was a wall jump, so that wasn't actually, like, anything new, new. Alright, so this one we can't go through. We have to go to that, that most upward one is where we need to go. And that's fine. That's the way we will go. Take our shortcut we created earlier. Like, we could kill some enemies for Geo, but it's not super imperative anymore. Like, we're, we could still use more Geo, you know, obviously, because it's always worth having. Yeah, we're just going to avoid Geo. I don't really... Yeah, and having double jump is making a lot of this platforming just real sl like sleek. Murdered him. And we will already imme immediately be coming up to a boss fight right away. It's the first thing we're going to be getting into today is a boss fight. I'm still not very good at fighting that enemy, unfortunately. So, here we go. With double jump, we can now go up here and go up to this way we had not been before. Heal ourselves up and let's go. There should be a bench, so we will be swapping our charms around. And I believe we have the big enemies again. No? I thought they were here. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if you remember, I not last stream. I think the stream before that, or at least a couple streams ago. If you remember, Hornet did tell us to seek out the King's Brand or the Mark of the King in Kingdom's Edge. Hornet had warned us to come here all that time ago. So you pursue the deeper truth? It isn't the one the weak could dare. Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal and I'll feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Show me you can accept this king's kingdom's past and claim responsibility for its future. So now we have to fight Hornet again. Her moves are different. Hornet is faster. Hornet is 100% faster. Having the longer nail to strike her from slightly far away is always better. Just keep on your toes when she's stunned. Heal. Keep the aggro up, but just watch out. She will jump around and try to jump on you. And like I said, the biggest part of this fight is she is faster now. Her attacks come out faster. They're harder to read. And now she'll summon these to prevent you from jumping around as much. So we're actually, while she's down, we're just going to get rid of these and heal up once. Ah, uh, she is jumping on me. Alright, this is bad. We might actually die here. Oh, yep. And there it is. There's Hornet ending our life. Oh, crap. And I didn't sit at a bench anywhere in Kingdom's Edge. Oh, no. Oh, dang it. Okay. This is going to be filler part. So there's not really going to be a whole lot going on here. We're just going to kind of speed our way back to Kingdom's Edge, unfortunately, because I goofed. So we're actually just going to kind of rush back. I should have sat at that bench in uh, the King's Station. And yeah, as you see, Hornet is no longer as easy as she was when we fought her originally in Green Path. Her attacks being a lot faster is definitely a lot more painful now. So it does actually add up quite a bit of damage when she's faster and jumps around. I probably actually should have healed up uh, that second stun that she had instead of trying to get rid of those uh, spike balls. I should have probably done that. That would have been more efficient with my uh, soul. And having full soul when you're the beginning of that fight, I probably actually should have been blasting her a lot earlier for just extra damage. And we need to get back there and not die because we want we need all we need that money back because we're gonna need that for the activities we're doing today. I'm not even going to waste my time to fight you right now. I could use the Crystal Heart to speed through these areas, but if we hit an enemy, it will uh, knock us. It will cause us to take damage. So, that's why I'm not, like, just Crystal Heart throwing. And now, we want to rest at King Station. Ooh. 
Yeah, and having double jump again just makes platforming just far sleeker, far faster. Okay, so I'm actually going to swap out... What can I do here for charm loadouts? Nothing terribly. We're going to sit at that bench in Kingdom's Edge, because if I look at my mat... Well, we'll look when we get to Kingdom's Edge. There should be a bench near Hornet that we're going to sit at, so we can just get back to her a lot faster to challenge her if we do lose again. So that, that was actually now an, a legitimate death. Instead of me just playing kind of reckless and bad in Crystal Peak and dying, and just getting a little bit greedy in uh, the, Mantis, the Mantis tribe, and dying there that, fir that first time, uh, this time was more my fault, or this time was more just a genuine, like, that was hard. Um, at some point, we will have to start collecting more mass shards specifically to start healing ourselves up. Yeah. We need to go quite a ways over. Directly over. We gotta go directly over to sit at the bench and then head straight up to go fight Hornet. So this is a little bit out of our way. Alright. Unless I can... You know, I'm feeling a little ballsy. I'm not really going... I'm not actually going to rest at the bench to go fight Hornet again. I feel confident that now that I'm more ready for it this time with my abilities, I'll be more set to fight Hornet a second time. I feel like I'm better equipped to know how to deal with her this time. So now I'm more ready. I'm probably going to be wrong and I'm probably going to get my butt kicked in again, but I'm feeling confident. Keep myself healed up. We're going to want to make sure we have most of our soul when we get there. So we're re already ready for a fight. And this time again, making sure we utilize our soul to blast her. Alright. We have to go up a bit more. I'm not going to waste my time to fight him because I want to try to retain a lot of my uh, soul and health. Because I don't think I can actually carry any more soul at the moment. This guy will try to fight because he's in our way. All right, into the spikes. Yeah, so we can't actually have any more soul than we currently have, so we're not gonna really waste our time and worry. Hmm? A secret? A bench, probably, because it was pointing up. I thought it was pointing up. Oh yeah, okay, cool. A wanderer's journal. All right, so doing this, I am gonna switch my charms on. I'm gonna take these two off. And I'm going to give myself the Spell Twister. To reduce the cost of using our soul ability so we can blast her more with the soul we have. Alright. And if we die, we're actually going to be right here now, so we're going to be a lot closer. We can't see where we are on the map, unfortunately, but we know where we are. It's a straight shot to Hornet. Let's get our GL back, our soul back, and proceed to take Hornet down. And as she said, we she felt no demise for a weakling. Okay. Shade. Shade. You're not really supposed to do damage to me, but I'll take it, I guess. Whatever. I don't really need. And now that we fall Hornet, the win is just Gotta! up. I'm going to play this a lot more carefully this time. Yeah, that move right there is a counter. Alright, that was bad. That's our first hit. That's bad. Second hit. I didn't know she could counter the soul ability. I believe this Hornet actually has less overall health than the Green Pad one, but it's harder. So almost, almost back to full health. We're not worrying about these spikes much, we'll just make smaller hops. Blast her from far away, jump, jump over that, hit her. Okay, I'm doing the bad thing where I'm just trying to tank out her attacks. Alright, and there we go. Hornet's taken down. Just heal up. Listen. So strong. You could do it if you had the will. But could you raise your nail once knowing its tragic conception and knowing yourself? Then do it 
ghost of Hollow Nest. Head onward. Burn that mark upon your shell and claim yourself as king. Alright, so now we can proceed forward and see whatever in the world is down here. Wherever this wind's coming from. Cast off shell. And we have... Marked by King's Brand. Hollowness shall recognize a new ruler. The kingdom's gates will open. Let's get out of here. Things falling apart. I don't think we quite made it out. But Hornet saved us. Despite treating us kind of like crap, she saved us. Alright, so with the King's Brand, that's only usable in one particular area, and that's exactly where we're heading next right away. We're going there right away. We never, I never actually went to the area where uh, the King's Brand would be useful to show it off. I never actually even went there to begin with. Get our normal uh, stats back on and let's go. So, the specific place that we're going now is now we need to head back to King Station because we need that, we need that, we need the fast travel because that's where we're going. Uh, we could explore higher up in City of Tears, or not City of Tears, Kingdom's Edge, but we've already explored that earlier without, uh, the double jump, so we're actually, we're actually, uh, good there. We don't need to explore it because we're already, we're already set. But we need to find the fastest way out of here, which looks to be this way. Because we just need to get back to City of Tears. No, we can't go back this way. Um. Okay, I remember seeing speedrun tactics, so I'm going to try something stupid. Okay, one more tent. No, no. It's not even risky. Let's just head upwards. We can just fall back down. I'm playing kind of stupid. I need to not get hit and heal up. Oh, why are there more of them, dude? Let's heal up real quick, so we're not at one. Alright, good. Oh, wow, that was close. I didn't think that guy's straight bullet was going to hit me. And these guys are easy soul to heal ourselves back up. He's also easy soul. Alright, dude. You can just get out of my life. So we need to head down to City of Tears. Alright, here we go. So we're back in this area where I believe this is where the Tower of Love. We never explored this area yet. And we can't do anything here because it's a lock a locked padded door. A strange enemy in a bottle. Yep, and here we go. That room where we could come up from earlier where we, uh, um, yeah, right here on our way to Kingdom's Edge. That's where that led us, but we couldn't do anything about it because we were, we were currently trapped at the moment. So, the area we're actually going to go back to now that we have the King's Brand to get our next power up, because the King's Brand doesn't actually do anything for us in terms of uh, abilities. But allows us to go grab a new ability, which is key. So, sit at the bench, heal up. Awesome. And here we go. We need to go to the hidden station that was all the way down in the ancient basin. That's where we're headed to. Ancient basin, here we go. So, now that we're down here, last time we went primarily left. We went dominantly left to go get the Monarch Wings in the Ancient Basin. But this time, if you notice the map when I pulled it up now, or even before when you were looking at it before, there was an area of the Ancient Basin we didn't go to last time. Which, dropping down here, is right here. Dropping down below here, below the Ancient Basin. I never came down here last time.
and this is what it's for. Maybe I explored this, I don't remember. Higher beings, those words are for you alone. Our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. But with the king's brand, recognizing us as king allows us to go back down here. A place once sealed, hidden away from the world. A very bleak, dark, black place with ominous music. And as we ascend, it gets darker. What is down here for us? Down here. Geo, because apparently there's money down here. I'm trying to ascend slowly because, yeah, there are spikes. And also, I want the I want there to be kind of build-up of us ascend descending. That's why I keep looking down. <laughs> nothing down below us there. And nothing down below here. The leap of faith. The drop. I apologize, bless me. Some broken shells. And here we are. Bones. We are in the abyss. Way down below the ancient basin where we were before. A lot of broken shell shells and shades. Similar to what shows up when we die. They give no soul and no geo. Yeah, liquid we can't really go in. A little creepy. Very eerie, too. And really, the only light we have is the Lumafly Lantern. The only light we have. Shades. Can't go that way. Shades everywhere. They don't really attack you, they just kind of follow you around. But they're big in numbers. We're murdering them left and right. There's a lot of them. And they just chase you down. You get nothing for killing them. I just like to murder them. So in here. Soul. A dead body. What if we dream nail it? Turn it off? Cannot. Huh. My king, I'm sorry. The sea calls. Alright, we turned this on. Falling all the way back down. He said the sea, but we shine a light on it. We can now jump in it because the light is repelling the void tendrils as they are officially called. Allowing us to be in here. Kind of freaky. You saw all that stuff coming out of it trying to kill us. And now it's been repressed by the light. Can't go that way. But here we have something strange. Can't dream out there. 
but jumping into this black liquid. Absorb the shade cloak. Press R2 to dash forward, cloaked in shadow. Use the cloak to dash through enemies and their attacks without taking damage. Dream nail this bug. Nothing really happens. So, with the shade cloak, our first dash. Okay. Our first dash turns us black. We can't dash like that right away because you see those little uh, black void particles that come back into us. And that allows us to dash through stuff to stay safe. We found an arcane egg. So if you've pieced it together by now, those black little gates we've seen earlier, this is how we get through them. So now when we fight bosses or enemies, if we can out time it, we can dash through attacks to stay safe. Because our first da our first dash turns us into a shade pretty much. Protecting us from damage. So now we're gonna leave the abyss, because now there's nothing else for us here. Still creepy. So now we actually have to climb out of the abyss and out of here. And now that we have this, then our next main destination is going to be Dirtmouth to buy that key. We're going to buy that key in Dirtmouth and then head straight to uh, Crystal Peak because we'll be, we'll be nearby. Yeah, falling into the abyss, way easier than getting out of it, by the way. I'm just going to take the damage because I want to get out of here. And you see, the abyss actually has slight music, but not a lot, only a little bit. And it's it's eerie down here. It looks like we're in like a well if you look in the background. Dude, you made me get hurt. I'm, I'm taking you down. Let's get out of here. We will be coming back here at some point. Um, so this isn't the last time we'll be seeing the abyss. We will come back. So if you like how this place looks, or like the ambi- the ambiance, ambience, whatever, which- however you prefer to announce it, uh, don't worry, we will, uh, return. This is not our last foyer into this place. And Hornet followed us. Ghost, I see you face the place of your birth, and now drape yourself in the substance of a shadow. Though our strength is born a similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny, then, that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong our world stasis, or face the heart of its infection. It faced the void and ascended unscathed. Could it unite such vast darkness? So we're apparently... we're similar to Hornet, except we're empty. There is nothing in us. Alright. Well, now that we're out of the abyss and back into the basin. 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 How are you? you choose to pronounce that as well. We're going to head right over to the stag station and head right back up the dirt mile. Because this is the sole reason we came here. So. Amisodo. Back to Dirtmouth. And we have more than enough Geo to buy the elegant key. And we might actually just pick up the the shards while we're here as well. Because we're not really going to be spending our Geo on too much else. Like, we have to buy that one more charm notch. But we need more charms. So we will be going to find all of those as well. So, back into Dirtmouth. We're going to buy the elegant key for 800 Geo. And we're going to just buy the mass shard because we can. If we find two more, one more mass. Awesome. Patamas, Geo! Is another one for sale. We're going to buy the vessel fragment for 550. We need one more of those. But if we unlock his Patamas, supply, Geo. he has another one. So we're just going to buy the third one for 900 instead of buying the mass shard. Because this is going to give us another vessel fragment. So having that gives us Reserve Soul, 
So now when we strike, it's going to fill up our soul gauge a little bit more to have extra soul. And that is actually going to allow us that even when we run out of soul or use any of our soul, uh, that little ball can contain a maximum of 33% of our <gasps> max uh, soul. So that's why it's key to have that because it's just a way to have extra soul. Just a way to have extra soul for uh, when you play. So now we need to head back into the infected crossroads and head to Crystal Peak. As you see, enemies are pretty messed up here now. They drop more Geo, which we'll still collect to buy those other, that other mask shard and everything else. So we will still be killing enemies. Taking them down on our pathway to glory. As we do. But they'll explode. They'll, and they will explode into the stuff that does two damage. So just be mindful of that. Because that will happen now. Crossroads is looking pretty messed up at this point. These things do no damage, but... Alright, so... In the Crystal Peak. And I already know where we need to go here, because we're looking for something very specific. Very, very specific here. I think she's aggressive to us now. Yeah, so Myla, as that uh, bug is called, is now fully taken over by whatever presence was possessing her. And she's ready to kill us. Alright, so we need to head just straight down. As we do. And you remember that area earlier on in Crystal Peak where we fell down and hit the uh, resting ground? That's where we're going back to. That area right above where the resting ground is. Because there's nowhere else in Crystal Peak we haven't been. Uh, per se. And that's uh, where we're going to head. And this is on the pathway to glory. For glory. So I actually need to head down. And these enemies are far less dangerous to us now because we're just so much stronger now with our more powerful nail. So no one really stands in our way anymore. Press on the bench and yeah, head over. I don't think we could have gone to resting grounds and came up this way. That's why I didn't try to do that. Because I don't think you can do that. I figure this is just faster since it's not really out of our way. Look at they die in two hits now, which is really nice. So I need to head up a head up a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, so you see our little soul ball is actually full, so now we use all of our soul to heal. It refills it to one notch of an ability. So we can actually heal a grand total of full soul four times. So this is where we were at last time where we got through here and we fell down. We're just going to keep running through here. We're not going to worry about these enemies because they're just kind of annoying. Alright, so I kind of timed that shade dash a little bit wrong. But that's how you can uh, face through enemies. So now instead of falling down, since we have the crystal heart, we can actually just dash straight across now. Explore this area we did not see before. Alright, gave us some soul. Not full, but pretty close. Pretty close. In here. We have a breakable ground. The crystallized mound. That enemy now dies in one hit. Oh no! Should have paid more attention. Yeah, leave me alone, dude. Alright, so there's a lot to explore here. There's a grub below us. Above us! We do have to save a lot of grubs, so that is something we have to do. Alright, take some damage. Go over here. We 
we have consumed the descending dark. Tap circle while holding down to strike the earth with a burst of power. Spells will deplete soul, replenish soul by striking enemies. So yeah, our, I don't even know what it's called anymore, our de desolate dive has become the descending dark. So, we have now upgraded our soul ability, so now if you can gather what is going to be happening now, we're missing an ability, and we still have the vengeful spirit, so... I think you got a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing now. At least, I think you got a pretty decent idea what's hap what's going to happen now. So, since we're already right here by the resting grounds, and we did actually get some more essence, even though we haven't collected any more for uh, the seer, we are going to just go talk to her because we're going to be using the fast travel station that is here. So, let's go do that. Because we're also right by the uh, stag station, so we're going to be fast traveling back to the city of Tears and using that elegant key that we had collected. Jump, 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 jump. Uh, wait, what? Uh, in here? No, this isn't it. But there's a secret in here? Not there. I don't remember this. The Dream Shield. That is a new charm. The Dream Shield is a defensive charm once wielded by a tribe that could shape dreams. It conjures a shield that follows the bear and attempts to protect them. I've never used the Dream Shield, so I don't actually know how good it really is. I won't be using it, so don't worry about that if you were worried, I guess. But let's go talk to this here, because she's got stuff for us. Uh, wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the Dream Nail. Already you've collected a hundred essence. Quick work. Things come naturally to you, don't they? No wonder the dreamers tried to bury, bury you in that little dream. Perhaps you frightened them? Or perhaps being prisoners themselves, they desired your company? In any case, you still have a long way to go. Take this old trinket as encouragement from me and return when you've collected 200 essence. It gives us a hollow that seal. It, just a sellable treasure. Not, not really super important or that big of a deal. So it doesn't really matter to us. But it's, you know, it's still nice to have. I'm not gonna lie. So resting on this bench. And with our stag station. After I call him, because I'm doing this so wrong and out of order. Yep, we're gonna head down to the king station back in the city of tears. And we're gonna head back to the soul sanctum. And there's actually something else we're going to be tackling in the Soul Sanctum if I'm strong enough to handle it is the real kicker to that part. But regardless, to the Soul Sanctum because that's where we're headed. Alright, so we need to head back up into the Soul Sanctum, but I don't even think it's even in there because, oh wait, no, uh, mmm. I'm going to have to kind of walk around and explore, unfortunately, because this I don't quite remember where it's at 100%, but we'll, we'll find it. We got time. We've been burning through a lot of the stuff we've been trying to get done pretty quick. God, you only keep striking one time. There we go. There we go. That's how we take them down pretty easily. Just need to keep an eye where I'm at and jump up here. We're going to tag this guy because he still gives us quite a bit of Geo. So we are going to kill him and waste the time to kill him. And there we go. <laughs> and yet we get hit by the little, the little dinky, the dinky guy. Of course. Of course. A door with a simple lock. Use simple key? Yeah, why not? We've got three of them. We haven't used any. We might as well. I don't remember this being here. Songstress uh, Marissa, a voice to ease all burdens and still a troubled mind. Let's see what's up here. Okay, there's stuff there. Stuff there. Stuff there. Stuff there. Holy cow. A lot of areas to explore and look at. That just brings the elevator back up to us. Yeah, whatever. The Pleasure House. Ooh. 
And we can just listen to her. Welcome to my stag, little one. I am Marissa, a songstress of some renown. Though given the sorry state of this place, you might find it hard to believe. Huge crowds once flocked to hear me sing, then something changed. The audience, once so in rap, began to leave. I continued to sing, yet my voice fell silent upon their ears. Perhaps you'd care to listen to me sing? You'll be the first in an age to hear it. Hello, viewers. We're currently listening to Marissa's song. All right. Even if only you, it's a wonderful thing to have an audience again. So we dream nailer. We didn't get a whole lot of lessons for it, but she wants to hear people sing, but there's really no more crowds because everyone's kind of gone mad. So we're just gonna put her out of her misery and release her soul from the dream, an endless dream. There's a spring up here and we're really a bench. Sure, why not? Updates our map. There's a secret over here. Uh, whoop. Uh, this actually just takes us back to the elevator. Uh, yeah, we're not really worried about this right now. We don't really care. Is there anything? Not up there. Alright. So we need to go explore those areas all along the side of the elevator coming up to Marissa. So that's what we're going to look at right here. Alright. So I don't want the elevator in my way. I want to be able to fall down and kind of look at everything on my way down. The elevator is unfortunately going to be in my way, but that's kind of whatever. What does this guy say? Marissa. Sorry, dude. Head's gone. Her spirit has been freed. I don't think there's any real secrets. I mean, there's Geo here. Cool. I don't really think there's any secrets in any of these uh, cutouts, but yeah, it never hurts to check. There was this I saw. Oh, this just takes us back down. All right, cool. Well, and that was it for that. Just filling out more of our map. We had all these simple keys. We might have, we might as well have used them. We weren't using for anything else. Lots of enemies here. And that's it. All right, so... Heading through the upper scaffoldings of the City of Tears. I don't really want to deal with you. Uh, and this takes us back into the King Station. Although there... Oh, uh, crud. There was this I didn't actually see earlier. What does this lead? Does this just lead nowhere? I think this just takes us into the... Leisure house. I know that's not where we need the elegant key, so we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that. So actually, uh, wrong way. So yeah, we're just gonna head to um, the Soul Sanctum. We're gonna avoid these guys this time because we already killed them. And we don't want to just waste our time killing them again. So let's proceed onward, ignoring them. But we need to go into this next area, and I think this might be where it's at. Yeah, it might be up in here. Because we never actually fully explored what was up in this area anyways. And I think that's why we didn't have the Monarch Wings to get up here. So let's find out what's up here th this time. I hear bigger guys. Never a good sign. Yep, so a door we can't get through. And enemy, of course. Ah! I mean, that was cool. They actually <laughs> came and just died to me. I'll take that. I'm not going to complain. All right. So we're all we're in new areas we have not seen before. Yeah, dude, you guys don't stand a chance to my stronger nail. Ah, crud. Okay, can you... If I can get you on my way, this will be really easy. So this guy we have to kill. Let's watch out. we go and that lets us out well I can't believe I had played this much of Hollow Knight and did not know really the efficient strong way to fight them that feels almost embarrassing to play this much and not have found 
the optimal way to fight these dudes, so that's like a little bit sad. But I mean, hey, better late than never, right? You know, that works. Yeah, we need more Geo, because we, I mean, we don't need more Geo, but we did spend a lot to buy a lot of things. But they were all very worthwhile purchases. They were all incredibly helpful to our cause. That guy. Wow, and he died like he wasn't nothing. Like he was nothing. Died like how he is. A weakling. Alright, so. See, I, it's weird. I don't remember this area very much. Alright, I don't really want to fight this guy. Because there's no way for me to really jump up around him. So I'm going to kind of just avoid him. Heal up though, because if we do end up having to take him down, we're going to need some soul to fight him. Ah. Alright. That will hit him for some more damage, but it's just to open him up. Alright, well, we took one pretty beefy hit, but we got through them at least, so we're not going to complain. Alright, and this takes us back out to this area where I believe we were blocked by a door, yeah! So now we just have just easy access back. I think... Alright, let me go check something. I think I know where our, where our elegant key is going to be useful for. I think I see on the map where to use it. So we need to head... There's no way to head up. Yeah, we need the elevator to go up. So. Give me some soul bag. Let me heal. Yeah, I don't really use Descending Dark all that much. Um, it's probably my least most used ability of the uh, three soul ones. Um, I recommend it. I know uh, professional Hollow Knight players, you know, way better than, you know, your boy. Uh, they really like the Descending Dark because it actually is really good for uh, iframing through attacks. So that's actually a huge perk to the move. But I'm not very good at explaining stuff like that. I just kind of... I go for the more tanky nail style of fighting. So it doesn't really work for me. And yep, here it is. An ornate door made from a glistening metal. Insert the elegant key. Yes, we will. Alright. Oh, that hit me. Just be ready for his attacks, wait for him, dot, kind of keep moving around, watch out. These things are kind of annoying, but yeah, not bad. It's a very easy fight. He's not really a tough enemy. He's actually pretty simple to take down, so don't really worry about him. And I think he was the only thing staying in our way to get our uh, upgrade, which is this. A figure connected to a device. Examine closely. Yeah. And we have consumed the Shade Soul. Tap circle to unleash a more powerful spirit. This spell consumes the same amount of soul, which with increased power. So yeah, we have now upgraded our Desolate Dive and our Eventual Spirit to the Shade Soul and the Descending Dark. Now we just need to grab the last ability. Wherever that's at. Grab these for some just extra soul. Alright, so there might have been more areas to explore in there. But that's really all I came here for, so I'm not, I don't care about anything else that's in there. So now to uh, leave. And now on our agenda, I actually need to stay in the Soul Sanctum because I don't know if it's available yet. I never checked before. But we're actually looking for something else that's also new here that we're going to try to do. Which is up above. Can I just take the elevator up? Will that work? Can I just go straight up? Yeah, I can. Alright, sweet. I don't know if we're strong enough to tackle the next thing on our agenda, but we're gonna we're gonna try. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Come on. 
Go away, please. I don't know where you are. Can you... Get out of my life. There we go. Just... I don't want to take damage going into this. Because I also have not rested at the bench. So we need to kind of do this in like a flawless attempt. Alright. So one big thing on our agenda is we need to get more uh, essence for our dream nail. Because that's what the seer wants. She wants us to grab more essence. And that's exactly what we're going to be working towards. Along with everything else we're also grabbing in the same stream. But, if you remember, we fought a boss out here. But now, he has that same dream symbols emanating from his body. So we dream nail him. We are now in the dream world. What awaits us here, though? Soul Tyrant, a stronger version of the, the I don't remember what his name was, and he's way faster now. I wanted to make sure I grabbed the upgraded uh, Vengeful Spirit to be able to blast him for damage. So we're going to just try to play this carefully and slow. When he does this attack, you can't stand in the center and heal yourself up. That's always an option. But he is a lot faster and he's way stronger now. I don't know if my nail is stronger or if my special spirit is stronger, unfortunately. I don't know which one's more powerful. And yeah, if you're not getting the timing between those orbs, you can grab the shade cloak that I grabbed to just dash through his attack. That's that's why I made priority to grabbing it. Okay. Moving around a lot. Oh, it's just too high. Alright. Hit him so we don't need to heal. I like to get two attacks in, then shades uh, shade dash out of there. Blast him when he's far away. You can hit him there, but I'm not very good at doing it. And it's really just a game of focusing on dodging. I feel like, for me, this is the easiest soul boss. It's not really all that difficult. It's just a long fight, but it's not really all that hard. I don't need to heal. Why am I trying to heal? It's also best to stay in the center to be able to, uh, like, kind of hit him if he does do any of this crap. As I say, now we're getting hit a lot. Now we're getting tanked out. Alright, so I'm actually just going to heal up these three health, these three masks. Oh, uh, that was bad. Alright. He should be getting close. Oh, I like when he does that. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. I also make sure to grab double jump because it's really useful for us here. Very useful for us here. Just some two heads there. All right. But now like his original version, he's not done yet. And he's faster, he's way faster. You have to really be ready to dodge. All right, here we go. Let's take him out. Okay, maybe not. Yep, you really got to be careful. He's going to do this again. Yeah, because you can hit him. But it is tough. Like that. There we go. That's it. And that's the uh, Master Tyrant. Soul Tyrant, whichever one. The stronger version of the boss we had fought prior. 
could listen to him now. In my dreams I could see it, the kingdom's salvation, the cure for the plague. The answer was in the soul that animates our bodies. But the king, why? He opposed everything I did. His jealousy, his madness. By staying against me, he robbed me of my immortality. Now the king and his kingdom are dead, but I will live forever. Alright. We will go from 122 to 400. So the seer wants to come back when we had 200 uh, essence? Well, we got more than 200 essence right now. We got a lot of essence now. But now we need to get out of here. Which I need to remember how to get out of here. So we're not going to be going back to this here just yet because I want to grab more souls so we can get multiple uh, layers of a reward first. Get a lot of our soul back though. That's nice. Alright, there's got to be a way out of here. Is it? It's not... Okay, can you go away? It's not... Oh, we got to go down. We got to go down. Okay, go away. Yeah, because we broke all these floors to get out earlier. Yeah, that's what we did. Now I remember as I take continuous damage... From these retarded grunt enemies that shouldn't be posing me any problems like in the slightest all right now i went down too low i gotta go back up go away god dopey enemies all right so now as far as i'm concerned and as far as i know we are actually completely completely done with the soul sanctum we do not ever need to return here again so our next destination is going to be going through forgotten crossroads and we're heading down to fog oh, i can't break that one down to fog canyon is where we're headed to next because if you remember there was a shade gate as they are officially called in fog canyon we could not go through and Falcon is also an area we do not have the map of yet either, so we need to go there for double reasons. So, we need to just head down and back to King Station to fast travel to Dirtmouth. I think, let me look at my map actually really quick. Uh, I need to... Actually, we need to go to Forgotten Crossroads. That's where we need to warp to next, is Forgotten Crossroads. Alright, so... Heading out through here. Uh, nothing in there, so let's keep, let's keep going down. Head this way, I think, right? Yeah, because this gave us our shortcut back on map we didn't explore, but... Uh, we actually don't need to go this way. We can just head back down where, you're hard cause, where we were, because we just need to head all the way right to get back to the uh, King Station. So it doesn't actually really matter, and we can actually sell some of our collectibles to Len. Wow, that was the wrong way to swing my nail. Oh, hey. Elevators have... Nope, other way. Uh, elevators have spikes on them, and uh, that's no good. Boy, isn't Lem... Oh, wait, nope. Uh, Lem is down here. I think this is the point where Lem's... Yeah, right here. Okay. So we had collected the arcane egg down in the abyss. That's worth a lot of geo. A lot of geo. Yeah, Lem, we don't care. Free items just for more geo to have. Yeah, the arcane egg is worth the most at 1,200 geo. Easily the item that's worth the most geo we can collect them. So now we're right back up to 3406, which I think is more... Which I actually think is more geo than we had before we started buying everything. I think we had like 2,700 or 600. I can't remember the exact amount we had, but I just I know we had more. Yeah, you guys still don't stand a chance against me. Don't even try. All right. <laughs> Taking everybody down like they don't matter right now. Slaying through everyone, except we're not. We're not even gonna. We're not gonna deal with you. We could actually use our eventual spirit on him now and do uh, increase more damage as we fight him. I don't know why I'm fighting this guy. Ah! 
I don't know the actual damage, the no, the numerical damage counter that's uh, on our Ventral Sphere. I just know that it is stronger, so obviously we want to have it and use it. So it makes sense to, to do just that. Alright, so with our map updated, we now have more of the City of Tears explored. And we are going to head to Forgotten Crossroads because that is our next destination. And it's also close to Dirt Mountain. Tiso is still here for whatever reason. Alright, so... Forgotten Crossroads still looking pretty dilapidated. I don't know how that did not hit me. Alright, we need to head up. And this way. Yes, come on. Yeah, that husk is gone. He is infected and dead. Oh no, that was bad. Alright, heal up, heal up, heal up. We're good, we're good. Everything's all good. In no danger. Alright, so this is the room we need to be in. If you remember, this is, where we, this is where we fought the false knight, the first real boss of the game. But I don't know it was the first boss, but we never actually came up this way. Because now we have all these upgrades. So now we can actually explore what's up here. Something in there, but let's wait and just see what's up here first. Small amount of geo. And just takes us back down. Back when we fought the false knight. But let's go see what all that crying's about that we're hearing. <laughs> These things that are weirdly scared of us, but the one that popped out of the false knight has the dream aura on him. So I guess you can figure out what we're going to be doing again right now. In another dream world. And now... This should give us a lot more dream soul energy, I think. Here we go. We have the failed champion, who is way stronger now. Way stronger now. Like, ridiculously strong. Like, super strong. Yeah, that. The only thing that's tough about the false, the failed champion, is you have to get him in a particular loop. Also, if you fail a dream boss, you don't lose your geo, you don't lose some of your soul from being coming a shade. You just get booted right back out uh, where you entered the dream world. So you can retry this as many times as you want. Uh, consequence free. And since I know he's over here, we're just gonna go this way right away and go fight him. And here we go. Right? Yep. Getting hit by those rocks is way better than getting hit by the knife. Yeah, this fight's particularly hard because every attack does two damage. So we're going to give a couple attempts to this. If I can get him in a good loop, this won't really be a problem. It's just getting him in that initial loop from the beginning of the fight, that's the hard part. Because that's what makes this fight so difficult, is, is that sheer part. There we go. So we can Dream Nail the shell to, shell to actually get free soul. Which we're going to do is we're going to heal up one notch. That didn't work. 
That was bad. That was bad. I didn't know the timer would run out that fast. Oh. I should have just attacked him. That was so dumb. Usually I go into this fight using um quick slash and another charm, but I'm trying it without that because I just have kind of my more utility charms. So we're gonna give this one more attempt with the setup I have, and then if not, I guess we will actually head to a bench nearby and then switch out our uh, item loadout to take him down. go so now we got him in this he'll do that give him a good loop hit these back at him which does quite a bit of his uh shell damage for us luckily that was greedy greedy and yeah, when you're being very greedy again okay now we need to heal up I was gonna go to three and not worry about it. Just watch for the way he jumps. If he jumps the way he's gonna do that, if he jumps forward, he's gonna do a slam right in front of him. Just reading his attack, which I have not been doing a very good job of. Job of. Or he'll stand there and just do that! Dang it! I think he only needs three cycles to do it. So we're going to go switch our charms and just go for a quick slash. Because this is getting a little bit ridiculous. So we're going to head down. And I know there's that shaman guy. I'm, I think we can go to where he's at. And that's where we're going to go to try to upgrade our... Oh, no, we can't. Uh, we need to head back to the stag station we were at. That's where we need to go now. So we're going to come back and fight the lost champion. Because I just I want more of the soul to fight so we're gonna equip specifically quick slash is the charm that I want to just smack him faster it won't necessarily do more dan it does more damage but only because we're striking a lot quicker so swapping out our charms we're not gonna need soul a whole lot because we don't really want to heal we want to just tank through him so quick slash and this might break but I'm actually gonna go for the fragile strength now, we're overcharmed. I haven't shown this off yet. You can overcharm yourself. So now we're going to take double the damage when we get hit. So we'll take four masks, meaning the failed champion can only hit us one time. But this is realistically as powerful as we can be right now. So if you see it, we kill these guys in two swings now. Really fast, really efficient. Real quick, real fast, real easy. Oh yeah, we don't have gatherings from. I was like, why isn't the Geo coming to me? I do not think Fragile Strength will break while we are in the dream. So we should be fine. So hopefully Fragile Strength and Quick quick Slash with Marker Pride. This is about the setup I main. I usually will have uh, um, Fragile Heart equipped as well. Or the Shaman Stone, depending if I want more soul or more uh, health to tank. But this is about the setup I naturally go for. So as you see, we're way faster now. See, look how much faster and efficient this is now. Yeah, two damage these attacks do. Like, even the rocks did two damage to us. And there we go. That's it. 
see, it's just without having our charm notches to really fully utilize these abilities, it's ridiculously faster and better. I wanted it, the strength to protect the others. When I saw that knight sleeping safe in his big armored shell, it wasn't madness that drove me to it, I just wanted it. But in the end, if strength cannot save you, then what can? And there you go. It gives you more insight on the enemy, so from 422, 722, another 300 essence. We're burning through it right now. All that essence we haven't we hadn't been collecting, we're dude, we're soaking it up. Now we need to get back to the bench and de-charm ourselves and re-equip our utility skills to head to Fog Canyon. It's like I said, where we're heading to next. Yeah, so like if if the knight would have hit us for two damage, that would have done four damage. Alright, slap these puppies back on and there we go. So, we need to head to the Queen's Station, because I believe that's the closest we can go to Fog Canyon. Alright, so, in Fog Canyon, well, in here, yeah, we're going to head straight to Fog Canyon and hopefully go grab our map. And grab the thing we also need in Fog Canyon. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This was the wrong way. Uh, well. Let me look. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, hang on. Guy. I hate the sound she, <laughs> she make like, you stop. You stop, uh, chewing on food. Thank you. That'd be real nice. Thank you. That's much appreciated. Alright, so back in Fog Canyon, I know the map area is to the right, so I know that's generally the direction we're going to be going in. I, and like I've said before, I do not want to hit these jellyfish because their explosions will, will home in on you and do two masks of damage, and I do not want that to happen. All right, this should still be Fog Canyon. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, uh, hang on. Yeah, we can shade dash. What? Oh, the explosion must have hit the other one. Okay. I was like, how did we get blasted? We we shade we shaded uh, through it. We were protected. But I think the explosion killed the other one. All right, this should be where the map is. Yep, and Cornifer is still here. So we didn't come this way because if we would have came all the way over here, you would notice a shade gate. Dash through it, and there we go. And we got to platform our our bad selves through here. But I think Cornifer is actually up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't supposed to happen. All right, Cornifer. Oh, as odd as, as odd as much of Hollow Nuts can be, there's a whole new level of strangeness about these caves. Did you see that dark gate below? It's quite unsettling to be near. I did my best to avoid it. Fortunate for me, I found another route, route in, though I did end up a little signed after wading through some acid. Purchase map of the area? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Fog Canyon, and one of our dreamers is here, but we're not gonna tackle the dreamer at the moment. We're looking for something that's very specific that's in this area that we're looking for. Oh, jeez, okay. That was lucky. I think that jellyfish hitting us actually uh, saved us uh, from hitting the uh, acid. Now, these orange little things, do not touch them, do not hit them or anything. They will explode. Alright. I don't know if this is actually the way I have to go. I'm just heading this way because I'm looking for something. Oh, jeez. Platforming getting a little bit more intense. Uh, let's see. It might have been the other way, but we can still always explore these areas. 
And then you see that'll take us back into the fungal waste, and that takes us up somewhere. Let's head up and see what's up there. These annoying things. That takes the fungal wastes. Oh, forgotten crossroads. Okay, yeah, so no, we're just gonna go uh, back the way we came. So the thing I'm looking for is the other way. All right, so I need, oh, this is actually a new area. We didn't go this way. I didn't see, oh, we, oh. Uh... Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> oh. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Well. Un well, at least we have the map. I mean, I guess we can't really complain. We got the map, so it works. But that wasn't the most ideal way of doing that. So now we need to head back up through Fungal Wastes. Or Fog Canyon. Go get our shade back. <sighs> Great. That death was not planned. And it was not very appreciated. Alright. Stupid Fog Canyon. Fog Canyon's actually not that bad of an area. Uh, at least to me it's not. I find Fog Canyon to be actually really cool. It's just, it's so easy to die here. Especially when you come here early on without... Like, especially without, like, a ton of health, it's really easy to die in Fog Canyon. Because, like, imagine not getting the health upgrade and only having, what is it, one, two, three, four, like, five masks. And then taking, like, a body shot by the blast. Like, imagine that. That was... Whoops. He's back, isn't he? No, he's not. Oh, so if you kill them, they just stay gone. Well, not these little ones. They, they still stay. Alright. Head back through here, go grab our shade, and then imme imme we're gonna immediately come back. Cause, well, what's in that room? That's a big square room, so there's gotta be something in there for us. There wouldn't just be a big square room with nothing in it. Alright. There we go. Save that double jump to give us a little bit extra security. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's like a 1% chance of like an enemy dropping uh, essence when attacked. So there is that. It's just weird we have not seen that until now considering for how considering how long we've had the dream mail. And that's never actually like activated for us. Kind of weird. Uh, yep, our shade's in here. That worked. I will totally take that. Wait. Excuse me? Can I not get my shade? Oh, that was... You're... I don't think you're supposed to do that. I do not think you're supposed to do that. And we have a lot of these orange cocoons to avoid. A lot of them to evade. Okay, so you can't shade dash through them? Oh, jeez. This is... This is risky right here. This is kind of stupid. All right, well, whatever we got, a char- Oh, it was so worth it. <laughs> so worth it. So, oh, uh, okay. Ugh. Okay, we might die again. Yup. Oh, this is- this is proving to be very difficult at the moment. Um, how many simple keys do we have? Two? Ooh, 
let's let's try to go get our shade back one more time uh, with that risky maneuver, and let's try to get out of there. It was 100, even though we died again, and it kind of sucks going back through. 100% worth it for a charm notch, which I realized I did not actually utilize by re like equipping like any charm. Because we could have at least we could have at least equipped the uh, the grub song to make it where we take damage, we'll get a uh, soul back. So I probably should have done that, but you know, eh, you live and let live. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't win. <laughs> All right, uh, this was the wrong way. How about no to that direction? Can I not? Okay, never mind. I can. I can jump up here. Some tricky uh, platforming. All right. All right, I'm gonna kind of focus for the moment because I really want to get that soul, that sh uh, our stuff back, and not like risk dying again. So I kind of want to focus. So get ready for some A plus platforming. Wow, we got another one. I'm like, I think maybe the same jellyfish. Dang it. Let's heal ourselves up to max. We don't have a whole lot to spare, unfortunately. All right, let's get our let's let's for sure get our soul shade back. We need to stop taking unnecessary damage. Okay, I went up too high. Okay, yeah, I was like, um, excuse me? Hold up. Because that got rid of a lot of them last time. And through tricky maneuvering, we got back out. We broke that ground earlier to get out. All right, shade. Oh, it puts me way over. Oh, we can only heal one time. All right, Shade, come to me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, once you get the Shade to aggro you. All right, take me back to the beginning. Yes, okay, good. Good, good, good. We need to not get by any blast, though, because we're one shot from dying. I'm going to kill some of these small guys just to get a little bit, a little bit of soul to heal to keep ourselves safe. All right. Got, and the, the thing we're looking for here is super worth it. So I, that's why I'm wasting so much time trying to find it. Yep, grab our soul here. We can replenish. <laughs> Look at that, back to full soul. Full soul and let's heal. All right, good. All right, let's work our way back. We will be coming back through here to get uh, this dreamer, so we will be coming back. I just wanted to grab like a lot of our upgrades and a lot of our other small stuff. Like we could tackle the dreamer right now, honestly, we could probably take it down. Which actually we, we might, we might actually just take it down here. But I want to go grab our ability first because I feel like it's going to prove useful for what we're trying to accomplish. Okay, fall down, fall down, alright, so it's this way. Go. 
know, is this, is this where it's at? It might be here. Oh no, oh no it's not. Uh, pfft, crud. We're in a new area, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna go here yet either. Cause we, we can't proceed through this entire area. What's up here? Does this take us back to the same area? No, somewhere new. Lifeblood though. Haven't seen this for quite a while actually. So free health. And we got another hollow nest seal. So another, another collectible just to sell. Nothing super important I guess up there, but you know, I, again that's more geo we can grab later. Alright, let's get out of here. It's gotta be that lower, it's gotta be that lower platform, that lower area below the teacher's archive that we have to go to. Alright, so down here, down here. Haha, <laughs> see you can dash to enemies now. And I gotta go down. I'm just gonna take the damage. Just cause we have all the extra lifeblood energy. Can we not? Where is it in Green Path? Give me, give me a moment to find out what we're looking for here. Um, cause I want, I want to look for it. Cause if we can get it the stream, then we will. But if not, then I guess we can't. It is, according to our map, according to the map, for we just looked through, we can grab it. I think I just went the wrong way. Yeah, okay. So I was going the right way. It was actually the other way. It just looked like a new area, so I thought it was a different... Oh, that was dumb! Alright, so I apologize for that. It's a little bit hard to remember where everything is located, but it is so it is it is this way. Alright. Not not too bad. Let's jump back up here. Go through this platforming section again. Ah, I thought I could make it. See, now I'm just playing kind of like fast and loose with the rules. Yeah, I guess it is this way because it shows that it's it shows that it's just directly this way. I mean, it didn't show us being in a new area, so that I guess I didn't think anything of it. Is it in here? Yep, it's in here. This is what we're looking for. A fair amount of platforming and spikes below us. Enemies that now die in one hit thanks to our upgraded nail. So that's, that's always much appreciated. Oh, I didn't even see him. Yeah, we can actually just time when our attacks are. And there you go. Because our nail is so strong. I think maybe you're supposed to come here a little bit earlier, but we didn't. And that's why this is, like, super easy for us. Alright, so down here. To the... Yep, here we go. That's what we're looking for. We consume the Howling Wraith. Tap circle while holding up to unleash the race. Soul will deplete soul, replenish soul by striking enemies. This one is one of my favorite abilities. And there you go. We just pretty much we just yell upwards and people will uh, die. It's nice. And obviously since we have Howling Wraith, you can imagine that there is an upgraded version of Howling Wraith. Why did you guys respawn? Go away. But since we're in Fog Canyon, 
We are going to head to the teacher's archive and take down the uh, dreamer. Can I not go this way? Am I supposed to come from below? But I can't. Oh, it's probably that other way. Alright, so anyways. To the teacher's archive. Because we do have, we do inevitably have to work towards taking down these dreamers. So it is a goal we are always striving for. And I, I'm sure we're, we are more than powerful enough to take them down. Especially with the upgrades we've been, we've been grabbing. Alright, we need to head down. Oh, not that far down. <laughs> like, oh, hey, let's go down. Oh, uh, and into the acid. All right, well, that's a little too far. All right. Is this a breakable wall? Oh, it's probably only breakable from the other side. So we actually have to go back through all that platforming we did. So we're going to save that dreamer. We're actually just going to leave. Uh the fog canyon for now just because i don't want to backtrack through that we've already spent quite a bit of time in fog canyon already and there are a couple other things i want to go grab so we're just gonna head out of here for now we will be tackling that dreamer very soon because we're we're nearing the point where our completion of gathering skills and abilities is nearing uh completion so the thing i want to look at my map is i need to head to uh, well, I know for sure we need to head to Dirt Mouth, and then, okay. Alright, I know what we're doing. I need to see where it's located, what it's close to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, the static station is all the way down. So we're gonna head back up to Dirt Mouth again, because we have, we, we have acquired quite a bit more Geo once, once again. And we have actually been collecting a lot of those grubs as well. And then we're going to just kind of head straight down uh, Crossroads. And back into the uh, Fungal Wastes. Uh, I don't think there's anything left in Sly Shop to buy. There might be more I didn't actually look at we had bought the Vessel Fragment. But we'll, we'll look anyways. Uh, yeah, only a Mash Shard, which we'll, we'll buy it. Just because while we're here, if we find one out in the wild, we only need one more. It'll give us an extra piece of health. That's awesome. Actually, has another one for 1,500. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to buy it, actually. We're going we're gonna to buy it. It's a free extra mask. We're getting farther in the game. We're going to need more health. It's beneficial. So let's do it. We still got 1,400 Geo. What I was going to check is because we've grabbed a couple extra charms, I was going to check Slabura and see if we can buy that charm notch. I don't think we can, but it doesn't <sighs> hurt to check. Papanada. Yeah, she has nothing new. Figured. And I'm actually going to go sit back down at the bench because we have collected. Let's see, we can equip the Shaman. Let's... For now, since we have that, let's equip the Grub Song just because we'll gain soul when taking damage, which if we're if we're tanking will be really beneficial for us. So we're gonna we're gonna take it because it's just so useful. And we're gonna head. Yep, I I want to make for some reason I know I, even though I just checked my charms, I was like, wait, did we equip the Gathering Swarm? All right, let's go see what the Grubs are gonna give us. What Elder Grub will give us. Because we saved quite a few more of these guys. Give us an item. More money. More money. More money. More. Oh my god. How many grubs did we collect? Holy cow. Dude. Another item. More money. Look at that. Look at that! Look at this, dude! Dude! It doesn't- Do we save that many grubs? Holy cow! We just got back all that money we just spent! We got a rancid egg, which whatever. And a hollow nest seal. Wow, we... That was a lot of money we just got back. I don't even feel bad for spending that money anymore on, uh... On those, uh... Shards and vessel fragments, because that was... 
That was 100% worth it. I didn't know we saved that many grubs. All right, so we need to head down into the fungal wastes. That's where we're going. All right, so. Oh, that cool. That was actually the wrong way I was going to go. So we actually go this way. That actually helped me out. Thank you. Give me the geo. Heal ourselves up. All right. So, heading straight down into fungal. Wrong way. All right. And now that we're down into fungal wastes again, we need to head straight down into the right. Yeah, we try don't die by running into that acid water like I normally do when I yeah see when I just fall straight down. And that takes us to Leg Eater, which we don't need him anymore because we still have our Fragile Charms. If we would have used a Fragile Charm and it would have broke, you just bring it back to Leg Eater and he, uh, he'll he fix it. But again, like I said, we hadn't broken it, so it wasn't a big deal. Alright, so, heading back this way. Yeah, you're weak now. Yeah, you're weak now. Times two. Where does this lead? It looks like a door, so I just want to check. Yeah, I can't do anything with it. Alright. Well, we're gonna just keep heading uh, down. Avoiding that nonsense. So, way, way earlier back in the stream, we came over here and there was just a grave that we could do nothing with, but now that we've acquired the Dream Nail since then, we're just gonna get the fight right started. I like to really fight this guy after I have the Shade Soul so I can just dash through this stupid attack. You dodge it by doing not that, I had wrong timing, but. Show it again. Yeah, like that, but I like to just to shade, to shade dash through it. Because he does it, he does this crap a lot. Now, above us, we can use Howling Grace and just hit him. That was a miss, but whatever. We should be using Ventral Spirit because it is more powerful. Like that. Heal up while he does that. It's a good buffer time. Yeah, Shade Soul was gone. Yeah, I like we he doesn't teleport because then you can just kind of keep hammering into him. And there you go. I can't remember his name. I never actually fought him early the, this early on in my original uh, save file. I fought him way later because I had missed him. My mind, it clears. Have we been sleeping, child? Ah, uh, I remember those proud lords. Were they truly monsters? I remember their eyes now, bright and clear. Why then did I fear them so? If there was a madness in that village. It was I who brought it. They were right to cast me out. When I attacked, they were right to... They were right to kill. To kill me? Uh... All right, well, something apparently happened. And now we are up to 800. Not as much as the soul bosses we've already fought, but still soul is, uh, or not soul, uh, essence is still essence. So we need to get out of here. We don't really need to be here anymore. We just need to leave. It <laughs> dies in one hit. Sorry. Now we gotta make this nice little climb back on out of here, cause for some reason there's like no stag stations in fungal wastes, because sure. Which like I never appreciated, but you know it, it probably makes sense somewhere, somehow, some way. Not for me though. I don't like it cause then I have to walk through all this nonsense again. With all this new movement tech, getting out of Fungal Waste is actually pretty, uh, easy. <laughs> Should be pretty easy. Making it look pretty hard right now. There we go. So, heading back into Forgotten Crossroads. 
So with sh the Howling Shriek, we're going to go upgrade Howling Shriek because it's actually the easiest to upgrade right now for uh, location. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with you guys. I'm just going to go back the way I came and just kind of just kind of leave you there. No offense. Later. All right. So, our location to upgrade our how our howling race is way easier to get to than anywhere else we have been. In my opinion, and Howling Race in my original save file was actually the first power up I ever upgraded. I actually had to look up in my original save file how to uh, upgrade the Vengeful Spirit and the Descending Dark, at least to upgrade upgrade them to that state. So yeah, Howling Race was actually for a long time the only ability I had originally uh, leveled up or upgraded. And maybe that's why it's my favorite. Maybe it's just because it's my first upgraded one and I just use it all the time because it was more powerful than anything else I had. I think you can figure out where we're going by just where I fast travel to. Alright. Crystal Heart. Faster. All right, so now we're back in here. We're going to head down again back into the abyss because lo and behold, guess where we're going. If you guess the abyss, you'd be right. And we're going to try to drop down as far down as we can, but there are spikes to watch out for like so. And there is this. A deep blue stone atop a di a, a dais, dais. We can't do anything with this right now. We will come back to that way later. It will give us a charm, but I'm not super worried about it at the moment because it's not a charm I particularly always use, so I don't find it to be the most useful. All right, and we should be at the, oh my God, that was close. Should be at the bottom. Yep, here we go. So we never went left when we got down to the abyss. We went right. If we go left, Kill some enemies. Always nice. <laughs> Just kill them. So in this weird room that has the same symbol as the Howling Race, if we use Howling Race. We have consumed Abyss Shriek. Consume the Abyss Shriek. Tap circle while holding up to unleash the Shriek. Soul will deplete soul. Replenish soul by striking enemies. So yeah. Abyss Shriek. Way higher range. Way more damage. Really, really nice. I love this power. If you fight any aerial enemy over you, this attack is unreal for how just powerful this move is. It's ridiculous. Alright, so let's get out of the abyss. Again. Now we won't be we won't actually be coming back here again for quite a while actually. Taking a slightly different pathway up this time. Trying to mitigate my platforming. Yeah, my only real gripe with the Abyss is that the platforming is just kind of obnoxious because it sucks falling all the way down and then just having to climb all the way back up all and then falling all the way back down, falling all the way back up. Alright, so we will conclude that this time. So uh, I'm going to head to the bench, but I guess in the meantime while I'm heading there, we did a lot this time. We actually uh, gathered a whole bunch of essence by taking down the failed champion dream boss and by taking down the soul tyrant master tyrant soul boss. So we made a lot of progress there. Um, 
No nail, no nail upgrade this time. We took down a Hornet in Kingdom's Edge and got the King's Brand, came down to the Abyss. And we had upgraded our... Actually, we've, we actually upgraded all of our soul abilities. We grabbed, what is it, only one new charm of the Dream Shield? We explored Fog Canyon finally, and we now know of a Dreamer's location to go take down. We got the Howling Shriek in this episode, and we also upgraded Abyss Shriek, uh, Howling Shriek to Abyss Shriek. And we got Shade Soul and Descending Dark. So we actually did quite a bit. We got a lot more Essence, as I mentioned. So next time on Hollow Knight, we're going to have to go fight a couple more Dream Bosses and take down some of those dreamers now and more importantly we're gonna head to finally that area that has been underneath the city of tears that i've had that small key for for quite a while and never used so like i said next time on hollow knight we're gonna take down some dreamers uh maybe grab some more pale ore maybe might be pretty cool and yeah we did a lot this time so i'll see you guys on monday for another hollow knight stream I'll see you guys then. And before I go, like I always say, follow me on Twitch. You'll be notified whenever I go live on Mondays and, fr uh, Mondays and Thursdays at uh, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And you will also be... I also upload all my past streams to my YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash I believe it's a land donut. Or else I'll go by Azure PKK. So subscribe to me on YouTube and you'll be able to watch all my streams. And if I make future, and when I make future content, you'll see it all there. So, anyone that shows up, I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.